in a minute. And here he is now. Freeze the shot, please. Gorgeous, wasn't he? Let's take a look at him now. Not so gorgeous. The war's over, Hunter. I've left the section. What's the section for, Kellen? Eliminating people, framing, extortion, death. All the jobs that are too dirty for Her Majesty's other security forces to touch. Precisely. You were my best man. I want you for this. You sat me, remember? He said I was too soft. Well, I'm still soft, Hunter. I still worry about the people I killed. I'm done with you, mate. I'm finished. Nobody's ever finished with me, Callan. You're a killer. It's all you know. After all, what can you chaps do when you leave me? Uh, your talents are so specialized. You can use a gun, use your fists, open locks. Unskilled labor. Get yourself another laborer. I want you for just this one job, Callan. I'm not asking to rejoin the section. After this, you can do as you like. It's not even a killing. Goodbye, Hunter. I think you better have a look at your file, Callan. Red cover. Most urgent, marked for death. You remember my filing system. You must be bluffing. No. You'll do this for me or I'll have you destroyed. And I mean it. I used to get the red ones. You were good. Have you got anybody good now? Good enough. All right, who is he? He calls himself Stavros. Nicholas Stavros claims his Egyptian Greek parents. He's not. His real name is Strauss. This is his dossier. I, I, I don't want it. No, go and read it, Ken. It's very interesting. Quite the little boy wonder over Stormburn Fuel in the SS by the time he was 30. Mass killer. 3,000 known dead. The Israelis wanted for a war crime. The Israelis son. get him. Yes, of course, he's a businessman now, cotton exporter. He's coming over here soon. Now, I want you to find out all you can about him. Keep an eye on him. See that nothing happens to him until the Israelis come to collect him. Because if we hand him over, they'll give us some very important Egyptian information, and we could use it. I don't work for you anymore, Hunter. Your parents were killed by a V-2 rocket, weren't they, Karen? What's that got to do with it? Uh, this chap used to organize the slave labor for the V-2s. What about it? It was 23 years ago. Run the film again, please. Oh, I turn the damn thing off. All right, that's enough. You... You did say I... They didn't want him killed. I did. The Israelis won't give me anything for a dead man. What well, might cover be, then? He needs a bookkeeper. Is what you're doing now, and I... Uh, yeah, you're not precisely happy with your present employer. Waterman, I hate his guts. Good, well, it's all settled, then. I needn't keep you. Well... There is just one more thing, Colonel Hunter, sir. I know you can't have me killed, but don't you push me too far, will you? Because I might just let myself be killed. Only you won't be there to see it because, mate, I'll get you first. And I can do it. Believe me, I can do it. You ought to know. Because after all, you did train me.
Callan, sir? Yes, Miss Callan. I thought he wasn't with the section anymore, sir. And that's what makes him so useful. He's a private citizen. If anything goes wrong, he'll be shown to be working for the Israelis. Nothing to do with the section. I thought I was going to keep an eye on Strauss, sir. You're not jealous of Callan, are you, Miss? No, sir, I'm not jealous. I just don't like the man. Uh, nevertheless, I want you to watch him for me. Keep an eye on Strauss and the girl. If you insist. Yes, Miss, I insist. Just one more thing, sir. Hmm? Have you any plans for Callan after this? Possibly. Callan and I seem to have arrived at a very good working arrangement, which you might call a balance of terror. Our office is in here. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, I'm very sorry, my dear. I did not know you were back. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Callan. Uh, he will be our bookkeeper while we are here. Mr. Callan, this is Jeanne, Mademoiselle Roche. How do you do, Miss Roche? How do you do? This will be your desk. Oh, you do not object to noise. Oh, no, no, of course not. Uh, I get rather noisy sometimes uh, when I use the telephone. Oh, <laughs> shout, and it's very bad for you. It makes you too excited. Jeanne is the perfect uh, secretary. She even worries about my health. <laughs> uh, you can start tomorrow? Indeed, I can, sir. Very good. Well, you can find your own way out. Oh, of course. Oh, well, goodbye, Mr. Samros. Uh, goodbye. Oh, no, we'll be seeing you for many days to come. Au revoir, Mr. Callan. Yeah, au, au revoir, Miss Rush. Excuse me, um, sir? <coughs> try and um, smarten yourself up a little. Then. Oh, yes, yes, sir. If you need any uh, money in advance. Oh, no, no, that's all right, sir. Right. Very, very nice. And a bird to match. The poor bastard couldn't keep his eyes off her. She didn't buy those diamonds out of her Christmas bonus either. Mr. Callan, is Mr. coming to work for us. A bookkeeper? You are the one precious thing I have, Jeanne. I don't want to lose you. To Callan? To anybody. Nobody's going to take me away from you, Nico. I will never leave you. I'm being stupid. And that is your fault, because I love you. You talked to this Callan to try to dress better. Yes, poor chap. I don't think it will do any good. I don't like him. You say that because he saw your legs? No, I just don't like him. There is something about him. Something ugly. I really like your picture. So are you. Your name is Kala. Yours is Evren. You've seen the stuff we want? Yeah, I'll be seeing it all day tomorrow. Good. I think it's the wrong merchandise. He doesn't look like a killer to me. He's podgy, he's soft. He's got a girl. So? It's 23 years ago. Yes, Mr. Kala. Men change. Their crimes do not. I brought a witness with me. He knows the merchandise very well. It once broke three of his ribs with a rubber tranche. Can you arrange for us to see it? Yeah, I'll find out tomorrow. The sooner you find out, the sooner you will get paid. Tell me, Mr. Callan, is there nothing you will not do for money? Yes. Lose my temper with you, mate. Everything all right? Oh, these, these are cancer. They really are a treat to handle. Oh, you, uh, you approve of my bookkeeping? It's yours? Yes, you like it? It's superb. Oh, thank you. The praise of an expert is worth having. I don't think I've ever come across anything quite so efficient. Oh, that is what I have worked for all my life, Mr. Callan. Efficiency. <laughs> Oh, by the way, did you uh, get the tickets for Covent Garden tonight? Two seats in a box. Oh, rarer than gold, these tickets. We have a luncheon appointment at 12 o'clock, Mr. Bookroyd of the coffee agency. Oh, yes, we should go. The London traffic is terrible. Uh, far worse than Alexandria. Uh, you can uh, manage the accounts on your own? Oh, yes, indeed, sir. Very well, then I'll leave you to it. 
You can go to lunch when you're ready. I'll say uh, cheerio then. Cheerio, Mr. Stavros. So much nicer than goodbye. Huh? Yeah. Cheerio, Miss Roche. Jan? Au revoir, Monsieur Callan. Uh, could I speak to Charlie, please? Who is calling? Callan, don't say you've forgotten me, love. I'll break down and cry. Charlie speaking. How's dear Toby Mears, then? Still out of prison, are you, Toby? Get on with it, Callan. Mm. Stavros and his bird, they're going to Covent Garden tonight. They've got two seats and a box. You better find out where they are, then get on to Avram, because he knows a bloke who can identify him. Right. Anything else? Yeah, Avram, he doesn't like me. I find that absolutely incredible. Me too. It's never, ever happened to me before. Hunter, it's bad for the job. All right, I'll have a word with him. Yeah, make it one of your rude ones. Hey, you'll never guess what they're going to see tonight. Tell me. Wagner, Twilight of the Gods. <laughs> Still doesn't make him a stormtrooper, though, does it? You're not, are you, Mr. Stavros? Threads across the lock. You must be suspicious. Mr. Stavros. Maybe Hunter's wrong. Don't you have any clothes, Stavros? friend, I've got a little job for you. Wallstein, Frankfurt and Maine. I'd like to see the moth that could get at that. Wait a minute.
leave the place the way you found it. Coffee, please. Aaron back. You will make the identification. Do I? You have it arranged? Yes, tonight. Good. Club and Garden. I managed to get you a couple of tickets for uh, box 14. Here they are. Get there early. He and the woman will be in the front of your box, so they have to pass you to get to the seats. Who will be there? Oh, by the way, it is gala night, so you'll have to wear evening dress. How very foolish. Well, it's not precisely the thing for a kibbutz, but it will help to make you inconspicuous, and that's... Very important. We do want a nice smooth operation, don't we? Of course. And why have you been quarrelling with Callum? He annoys me. He annoys everybody, but he's a damn good operator. You like him? I detest him. He's still good. You're going to his place tonight? After we have made the identification, yes. If it is Strauss, I will have to arrange with Callum how to get him out. No, I'm doing that. Don't shit, spill your tea. And he won't get Strauss. That's the way my principal wants it. Why? Does he not trust he me? He doesn't know you. He does know me. And I know my job. Leave it to him, my brother. Don't handle dirt unless you have to. I have to be sure. Just get Strauss identified, hmm? I'll do the rest. It is enough if we get him to trial. Let the world see him. Let them understand what he did. They will. They must! It's so loud. I liked him much better when he did it, too. I didn't talk because I was praying. It is 23 years since I saw Oberstrom and Fuhrer Strauss. Over 8,000 days. And tonight I shall see him again. You must feel awfully happy about it. I feel terrible about it. I'm frightened, Mr. Mears. I still fear him. You know, you, uh, you could have gone here a bit, uh, a bit later and had a bath first. I do have baths, Mr. Callan. The way I smell is psychosomatic. Blimey, who the hell taught you a word like that? The doctor, in the scrubs. He says it happens when I'm nervous. Well, you're nervous now, aren't you? Yes, Mr. Callan. Why? Just don't want to get mixed up in it. Mixed up in what? Well, whatever it is you're going to do. I want a gun. Like I said, Mr. Callan, I don't want to... Sit down, Lonnie. Part... I want a Noguchi Magnum 38, short barrel, very good nick, and I want 50 rounds of ammo. Mr. Callan, I smell terrible when there's guns around. Anyway, I got your Noguchi. I had to get rid of it. It went off. Noguchi Magnum 38, short barrel, 50 rounds of ammo tomorrow. All right, Mr. Callan, you're a boss. Again. You're the boss, Mr. Callan. You just remember that. Yeah, well, I'll get the gun to now. Ah, there is more. Oh, gold. Right. You ever seen one of those? Yeah, that's German, isn't it? Steel panels, safety lock. Waldstein, made in Frankfurt. Good boy. I just screw it. Oh, it's a lovely job, Mr. Callan. Need jelly for it. No, no, jelly's out. You couldn't bust it with sledgehammers. I wouldn't want to try. What about the lock? Oh, triple action. You know, so many turns one way, then another, and back again. Ah, that means I've got to get a look at the original key. 
Get me a blank key for it. It's a kind of no damn. If I get nicked with a blank for a thing like that, I get ten years. You're getting a gun, aren't you? If it comes, it's different. I mean, the Rosers will think I just lifted it. They know I don't use a gun. I do, Lonely. You're scared again, aren't you? Yes, Mr. You Pepper. should be, mate, because I don't need a gun to take you. I'll get the key tonight as well. I'll meet you tomorrow. Lunchtime. In that little cafe you told me about. Yeah, good boy. All right, you can go now. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, it, it will be cash in advance, Mr. Cannot. 200 quid. Here. Here. That's just right then, Mr. Kelly. Yeah. Lonely? It is remarkable the way I trust you. Oh, yes, well, you know that I would never let you down, Mr. Callan. Of course I do. I know why. But the day you let me down, you'll stop smelling forever. Aaron Baird. Would you be kind enough to turn that radio off, please? No, no, the, the music is not important. Have a drink? Please. This Strauss, he touched me as he went by. I was almost sick. You're absolutely sure? I am sure. It's been a long time. I know. I've seen his pictures then and now. They don't look all that similar. Stavros is Strauss. Because you say so? Because he says so. He could be wrong. No, Mr. Kellen, I could not. About everything else, yes, it is possible, but I can make mistakes. But about Uberstrom, I'm sure it's Strauss. Never. Never. Look, what makes you so sure? He suffered enough. Listen, Stavros will suffer too, won't he, if he's, uh, if he's innocent? I'm giving you an order, Mr. Callan. All you have to do is to obey it. Ja, well, Herr Obersturmbahnführer. Watch it, mate. I mean, you'll spoil your nice suit. Hello. Come slumming, have you? Having a party? Or is it always like this? You called me a fascist. You shouldn't behave like one. What's wrong? Berg says it's Strauss. I want to know what makes him so sure. Excuse me, son. Thank you. Mr. Berg, God knows you have been through enough. I know that. But I must know why you are so sure. I was his house slave for three months, Mr. Kellen. I washed the dishes, cleaned the floors, polished the silver. It was a good job. House slaves got more food and soap sometimes. I only wish I'd have worked on the rockets of the V2s. Why? Because all this time I was in fear. Oberstrobanfjord Strauss was not a cruel man for pleasure. He was a cruel man for duty, for efficiency. For him, everything must be perfect. And perfection meant efficiency 100%. 99% was not enough. His house must run like a Swiss watch. And I ran it so for three months. Then one day, I broke a plate. A beautiful plate, made from mice and china. And Oberstrubam for Strauss broke three of my ribs. You see him? Go on, Mr. Berg. When you fear a man, you watch him all the time. Is he going to be angry? Please, God, make it so that he'll be kind. But you do not let him see you are watching him, for then he's sure to be angry. Tonight, I watched this man as I had learned to watch. And as I am Arenberg, so he is Reinhold Strauss. And I am still afraid. Are you satisfied? Hmm? Oh, yes. And you? Yeah, I am now. And perhaps someone would be kind enough to tell me how he take him back to Israel. Mr. Berg is an Israeli citizen? Yes. Well, Mr. Berg has an accident to his head. 
and fresh. His head is completely bandaged. The doctor gives him a sedative and he's flown home to Israel, except, of course, that Strauss is substituted for Berg. You go with Strauss. Mr. Berg goes home on another plane with another passport. I find that satisfactory. I'm so glad. When? Tomorrow night. Yes. I'll set it up. Tell Charlie when it's ready. Yes, sir. Well, can I drop anyone? Yes, please. Mr. Berg is very tired. Just a minute. Well, you, uh, you were going on about me doing this for money. It's true, isn't it? Oh, I hope so, mate. Because I haven't seen a penny of it yet. I want an advance. How much? Two hundred quid. You're, uh... You're still scared, aren't you, Lonely? Yes, Mr. Keller. Is, um, is that the stuff I asked for? Yes, Mr. Keller. Right. Beside the table, there finds itself a briefcase. Pick it up, open it, put the stuff in, put it down again. Cool. I'm still scared, Mr. Callum. Why? Oh, that thing. Suppose you, you use it. I might. Yeah, suppose you tell him where you got it. Well, I won't, will I? You swear it. On your mother's grave. I'll swear it on your grave in a minute. Get on with your lunch. I'm not hungry. Mr. Callum. What? What's it like, using that thing? What's it like? It's like... It's like eating your lunch. You've got the stomach for it, it's easy. Trouble is, you, you get to like it. Lonely. Lonely, you would never tell anybody that you got me a gun, would you? Mr. Keller, I swear. As if you did, mate. I'd kill you. And that'll make you very nervous indeed. See what I mean? You've got a bean on your chin. <laughs> How many bales? Yes, I see. Oh, yes, Mr. Anyman, it's uh, a very big order. I, I do appreciate it. Ah, but, uh, Mr. Hammond, this is a uh, very top quality. Oh, yes. D discounts? Oh, no. <laughs> I hardly think. Well, well, I, I, I could give you five. For seven and a half? Oh, no, 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 no. Seven and a half would be quite, quite impossible. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Hammond, that, that is my last word. Yes, indeed. <laughs> No, it'd be quite impossible. I enjoyed doing business with you, Mr. Honeyman. Yes, uh, goodbye. Oh, Mr. Mr. Callan. Had a good lunch. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you very much, sir. You're late. Uh, t two minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, I had a lot to pick up, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. That's all right. You work very hard. Thank you, sir. Now, I must go and see uh, Sir Basil at the Board of Trade. He will talk till tea time, and then offer me Earl Grey tea. <laughs> I detest Earl Grey tea, but he has such very nice china, I shall drink it. Oh, you will remember to go to the travel agency at three o'clock, eh? Oui, d'accord. After so much business, a nice little holiday would be very good, hmm? Cheerio, Mr. Callum. Cheerio, Mr. Savos. Mr. Stavros is a clever man. Yeah, He's I can also see that. Also very kind, and I'm very fond of him. Oh, yeah, I can see that, too. <laughs> Who's got the dirty mind, love, you or me? If anyone calls, I'll be back at four o'clock.
I love you with a sordid and overwhelming passion. But now I must speak to Charlie. I am putting you through. Goody. Charlie speaking. You, um, you still want me to, to find out about him? Of course. Well, i better do it now, then, because they're lifting him tonight. You're convinced it's Strauss? Yeah, yeah, just about. There's no point in asking you what makes you so sure, I suppose. No point at all. Perhaps a little bird told you, eh? A little nervous blonde bird. I'm busy, Callan. Yes, I'm sure you must be. Look, uh, you remember that I said that I would kill you if you pushed me too far? I seem to remember something of the sort yet. Yeah, well, that, that took care of the motive. Now I've got the means as well. The opportunity? I'll find that hunter, if I have to. Callan's going to kill you, sir? If certain circumstances arise, yes. Cheeky. Do you think you could do as me, Yes, sir. Yes, so do I. I'd better take care of him after this operation tonight, sir. No, not yet, Mears. If and when it should become necessary, I'll take care of it. You'll get fat, sir. Mears, I am fat. Precision. Efficiency. That's what we need. <laughs> I should have been in the SS. Come on, you swine, come on. Three busted ribs if you drop it. Charming. Potassium cyanide. Oh, you should die slower than that, Strauss. What are you doing there? I, uh, I, I heard a noise and, uh, well, it must be you coming in. Yes, I slammed the door. Ah. Why are you here, Mr. Kenner? Well, I keep Mr. Stavros's books. You don't look like a bookkeeper to me. Uh, what does a bookkeeper look like?
will drop this color. She rumbled me. You're getting rusty. Well, she knew someone was coming anyway. She was the one who put you under Strauss. Really? It must have been her, Hunter. There was nobody else. I should think she's the only one who's got close to him in 23 years. Stay with her, Callan. Oh, sure, sure. She'll be a star witness in Tel Aviv. A Heatherwin. End up a film star, I shouldn't wonder. I looked through his stuff. Party card, ledgers, books, journals, cash books. They're all bound in a sort of very fine parchment. Useful evidence for the trial. Is there anything else? Yeah. There's a leather bag containing gold nuggets. Must weigh all about ten pounds, I suppose. Tooth fillings, Hunter. Thousands of them. Is that the lot? Yeah. Except for a gun. Well, you've got a gun too, Callan. Don't use it. That's up to him. No, Callan. If you're back about six, you can take him when you like. Mears is on his way. You know his arrangements? Yeah. You tell him to keep out of the way until I give the, uh, give the signal. Oh, and keep Avram out of the way altogether, because he'll go crazy if he sees this lot. How long have you known? I've known him for a year and a half. How did you find out? He, he got drunk one night. I took his keys. I looked. You knew what he was and you still stayed with him? But he's a different man now. Can't you see he's different? Yeah. Tell me why you turned him in. Tell me why. Be because I began to have dreams about all the things he must have done. In the dreams, I was a Jew. I began to understand what this must mean. One evening at a party in Cairo, I met a man from the British Embassy and he passes me on to your people. Not my people, love. I'm still very fond of Nico. And you shocked him? Yes, I did. And he gave you so much? He gave me too much. You... You give nothing. What the hell do you think you're doing? My God, you're a mess, aren't you? I keep still. You keep perfectly still and stay just where you are. Shalom. What the hell are you doing here? I wanted to see around for myself. I know Strauss is away. There may be evidence. Yeah, there is. It's waiting for you. There's a witness to his girl. Let me see her. Look, there isn't time. We can both be here when Strauss comes back. Listen, you've had your instructions, mate. Now wait outside. I am also giving instructions. Let me see the girl. I am warning you, Callan. You'll need to do better than that. You're a very good lad, but my God, you have got a lot to learn. Oh. Oh. All right, come on, come on, you've had long enough. All right, Mears is here with a car, just across the road. You go and wait with him. I tell him I'll flash the bedroom lights when I'm ready, outside. But don't make me mad, son. Out. Yes? Mears, Austin Taxi, CYK 294C, just pulled up outside Strauss's house. One passenger, Strauss, he's paid off and he's gone in. That's all out. Jan? Yes. Feeling all right? I have an headache. Oh, my darling. Oh, you do need a holiday, huh? Oh, nice long holiday. Switzerland and the mountain air will soon make you very strong. Yes. <laughs> Signed a new contract today. 
Sir Basil was very pleased. And this is for you. Open it, Jan. Nick. <laughs> it was a very good contract for me. You mustn't. I can't. I must and you shall. And when your headache is better, we will go out and celebrate. Huh? Nick, oh, please. Jan, what's wrong? It's Keller. What about him? He's a thief, I know he is. Oh, Jeanne, you mustn't say that. I know it. I left him alone here this afternoon, and when I came in here, things had been disturbed. Are you sure? Yes, he was in the corridor. Well, what did he say? He heard a noise. And you think he'd come in to steal, huh? Why else would he? He's got a gun. You saw it? No. I, I felt it. You felt it? How? I kissed him. <laughs> oh. Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I deserve it. No, no, please don't say that. No, I must think. Get, get your jewels. Put on your coat and leave. Get your passport and go to the airport. Here, take these. You have your own traveler's checks. I take the first plane out to Cairo and I'll join you there. Jeanne, what's wrong? I'm afraid of it. <laughs> Callan? Uh, what nonsense. Now, please, hurry. My darling, uh, my, my deals have not always been honest. And surely you do not want me to go to prison? No, Nico, I don't. I love you. And I'll see you very soon. Go now. Goodbye. Get in, Miss Ross. Callan? Uh, Callan. Oh, Callan, could I see you in the bedroom for a moment, please, Callan? Yes, sir. what you were looking for when you searched my room? I wasn't looking for it. I found it. You opened my wardrobe. I was trained for it. I must kill you, Callan. You're used to it? No, not for a long time, but I must. Do it, then. I can't. No, I didn't think you could. Anyway, if you're going to kill anybody, I mean, you really need these. You're right, Strauss. You can't kill anymore. You know exactly who I am. Reinhold Strauss, Obersturm Bahnfuhrer, SS. You're wanted in Russia, Poland, East Germany, West Germany, Israel. They all want you for the same thing, mass murder. And which one has found me? Israel. Oh, my God. You work for them? They hired me. Money. You work for money. I'm no, rich. No, Strauss. For 23 years, I have not harmed a living soul. Reinhold Strauss is dead. I am Nicholas Stavros, Callan. And Stavros would not hurt an animal, let alone a human being. It's no use. No, I suppose not. Will they never forgive me? Well, after what you did, how could they? Tell them I am sorry, from the depths of my soul. Tell them I said so. Oh, no! No, you don't! No! I can't let you die! They want you alive! Be 
Please, I beg of you. What use is a monster in a cage? It's what they want. They think the people forget too easily. Do you think so? It doesn't matter what I think, really, does it? They've earned the right to think so. And for Strauss, they're right, of course they are. What Strauss did was beyond forgiveness. But Stavros is different, and I am human, Callan. I have suffered, and a man can be redeemed through suffering and through love. I've had 20 years of nightmares, of terrors, of talking to no one, not even a priest or a doctor. And then finally with Jeanne, the nightmare stopped. She taught me how to love. She needs me, Callan. She has no one else. If she knew the truth about me, it would destroy her. You poor bastard. She turns you in. Liar! <laughs> Jeanne told you Is that the truth? Yeah. Yeah, she, uh, she found your keys. You were drunk one night. She found your keys and she, she opened your cupboard. When? Eighteen months ago. Why? She had nightmares, too. This was a memory of my greatness. I knew that one day I would be a great man. Then I grew to fear it, for I knew that it would destroy me. But in my destruction, I know I am redeemed. Robe Stumban Führer Strauss deserves to be destroyed. You put another coat on. You heard me. Put it on! Here is with the girl. I used her key. Have you got him? Yeah, I got him. But he's dead. You damn fool. He's no use to us dead. You got here too late. Yes. 23 years too late. I was right not to trust you. No one should need to be paid for catching that animal. Callan here, can I speak to Charlie, please? Now you will get nothing. No money, not a penny, nothing. Charlie speaking. You, uh, the evidence, it's all here. You better tell me as he can come and collect it. Stress? Yeah, he's here too. Bring him in. <laughs> I don't think you want him. Just killed himself. Hard luck. <laughs> 